Mr. Jensen, let's take a look at how your shoulder incision is healing from your surgery. Hmm. Appears to be healing very nicely. So when you move it, do you have any tightness? Feels okay, Doc, especially after I go to PT. That's excellent. That's good to hear. The telemedicine department at Fletcher Allen University of Vermont College of Medicine provides rural communities access to high quality specialty medical consultation, emergency care, and education for healthcare providers, students, employees, and patients. Telemedicine at Fletcher Allen utilizes real-time, two-way interactive video. It allows the Fletcher Allen specialist, the patient, and the local provider to have a confidential personal consultation from the comfort of the patient's local health care facility. The farther away a rural resident is from an urban area, the greater their chances are of not receiving necessary uh, health care services. We have a chance of leveling the playing field, and one of the ways we may be able to do that is with telemedicine. The far end of our uh, transport service is three hours one way. It used to be that definitive care for these patients was six hours uh, delayed. With telemedicine, uh, we can provide essentially instantaneous uh, uh, consultation and help to those patients. Fletcher Allen patients are no longer limited in their access to specialized care because of distance, transportation situation, or physical condition. Many different clinical specialties at Fletcher Allen have the capability to use telemedicine for their consultations, including telepsychiatry, palliative care, pediatric emergency care, and surgical follow-up. Telemedicine is also used to provide grand rounds, course lectures, and educational offerings for healthcare providers from around the region or from anywhere around the world. Understanding genetic testing is very complex and patients really need to have that consultation prior to even having their blood drawn for genetic testing. So in a rural setting, being able to provide that by telemedicine really gives them something that they wouldn't otherwise have. My I'll start therapy on them. It depends on the sarcoma. If this is one of those meandering sarcomas. So the advantage of telemedicine to the provider specifically would be to be able to get an expert opinion from the Fletcher Allen physicians as a group uh, in a multidisciplinary presentation uh, to get an opinion uh, for the outlying physicians. When I met you three months ago, Telemental health services are utilized more than any other clinical telehealth application in the United States. If we didn't have the telemedicine services that provide the telepsych, we would not be able to have our residents seen that need to be seen. Many of them um, are not able to travel well. We would have to travel two hours to get the same service we're able to get right here in the nursing home. And the travel for her is very difficult because she has rheumatoid and osteoarthritis, so it would be extremely painful for her emotionally and physically. You can watch the patient's visual cues as you're trying to give them information. You can actually see from their face um, whether they're comprehending that information or having trouble understanding what you're saying. You can back up, you can ask them questions, and that's really different than being on the phone even if you're trying to do things by speakerphone. The telemedicine department's technical support team provides a variety of services to make your video conferencing experience a success, including assistance during clinical patient consultations, pre-conference scheduling and setup, on-call technical support during conferences, on-site technical support, and video bridging services. Here at the telemedicine department, we're interested in making the experience for our users as easy and as seamless as possible. I would recommend the telemedicine service to other healthcare providers. I think the staff that helps you implement telemedicine is wonderful. Uh, they work hard at making the link and the environment uh, work for you. In 2012, the Vermont Legislature passed the Telemedicine Bill. The law states, 
All health insurance plans in this state shall provide coverage for telemedicine services delivered to a patient in a health care facility. I think uh, the telemedicine bill that was passed in Vermont is a strong validation of the support that telemedicine is receiving from the lawmakers in Vermont and hence, of course, their constituents. The telemedicine program at Fletcher Allen UVM College of Medicine, providing access to high quality, specialized, personal patient care for our region's rural communities. Because it's personal, you don't have to leave your home to get good health care. For more information or to schedule a telemedicine consultation to a remote site, please contact the Telemedicine Department at Fletcher Allen University of Vermont College of Medicine.